Hello guys, welcome back to Good Share Tips. In this video, we're going to talk about how to fix cannot start the application CE300508 error on PS4. Sorry, C30058 error on PS4 and how we can fix this error. So we're going to talk about some of the possible workarounds that can be done in when you're having the issue. The first one is all about you have to restart the PS4 console, clean the disk and you have to replug its power cable. So it's actually a temporary glitch of the PS4 console may cause it show the error code CE30058 and restarting the PS4 station may solve the problem. So just do the same. That is what you have to do. Now from here, power off your PS4 and when its lights are off, unplug the power cable of the PS4 as well. You need to wait for around hardly 2 minutes and plug back the console's power cable. Meanwhile, take out of the disk from the PS4 and clean it using a smooth cloth. Make sure not to apply too much pressure and the power on the console. Insert the disk once again and check if it's able to clear the issue. After trying the first step, if it's still not working, we have to move to the next step. That is all about. We have to reinstall the problematic game. Sometimes you know, a partial install of the game may force PS4 to think the game is not yet been installed over there which is causing the issue. So in order to fix this, first you need to go to the library and you need to open the home screen of your PS4 and in the left pane head to the games tab over here. Once done with this one, you just need to go over here then select the problematic game. For example, if you're on FIFA, select the respective one. As you can see, just select the respective game which you want to do the same and you have to press the option key. Afterwards, you have to go and delete it and you have to confirm to delete it once again, the respective game which is causing the issue. Afterwards, try most probably, then you just need to, once the game is related successfully, you need to reboot your PS4 and upon reboot, you need to check whether reinstalling the game resolving the issue or not. Most probably, the second step will be helping guys out. Even if it's still not working, we need to move to the next step. That is, we need to update the system software of PS4 to the latest build. Many users, when they updated the state worker, for this reason, we have to go this. That is, firstly, we need to uninstall all the problematic game as we discussed earlier, like I mentioned, and you need to do not reinstall and make sure no disk, DVD, Blu-ray, etc., which is not present in the disk drive of the PS4. Now launch the settings of the PS4 and open the system software update. Once done with this one, once you get the update is available, just select the next button and you need to click on the update. Afterwards, you just need to move to the next step that is all about. You have to, then you need to system software update installed and once after the system software is installed one, and once it's updated, you need to check if the PS4 error code CE3005 is already cleared and you have to most probably when you tried this the issue has to be fixed so these are the possible workarounds you have to try out when you're having an issue on ps4 error code ce30058 and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye